fracking. It's the oil drilling process that's doubled U.S. production over the last 10 years, changed the global market, and led the U.S. one step closer to energy independence. How does it work? Over hundreds of millions of years, miles below the surface, rocks soaked up oil and natural gas, trapping it underground. Fracking creates tiny cracks in the rock that freeze up that oil. First, you drill a vertical well into an oil reserve. Then, drill an arc and continue to create a horizontal well that extends into the heart of the oil reserve. Once the hole is drilled, a steel tube lines it. Then cement is pumped down and settles between the pipe and the well wall, creating a protective layer between the well and earth. Then you frack. A perforating gun punches tiny holes through the steel, cement wall, and rock. Then a potent mixture of sand, water, and some chemicals is pumped down into the holes to create small cracks in the rock. The sand holds the cracks open so oil and gas can flow out. An average Permian well uses almost 12 million pounds of sand and 11 and a half million gallons of water. That's enough water to fill over 17 Olympic-sized pools. A vertical well gives you just one shot to strike oil, but a horizontal well allows you to frack multiple times along the lateral. That means more oil for less work. In the 80s, George Mitchell, known as the father of shale, first pumped this mixture into a vertical well in the Barnett Shale in Texas. His technique spread throughout all the major shale areas from Texas to North Dakota. And companies continued to innovate, now drilling multiple wells in one small area with pipes going in different directions underground. In fact, they can produce a barrel of oil for half the cost of what they did just four years ago. The more efficient companies get, the more oil the U.S. produces. The U.S. is close to overtaking Saudi Arabia as the world's top oil producer, and it's all thanks to fracking.